Hey, welcome. It's day 16. We're doing 20 minute upper body workout. It's not all standing, so make sure you have like a mat or a soft surface for the last few exercises. A variety of dumbbells, which you're gonna need today. I have between five and 15. You grab what you have and let's do this. All right, our first move, you're gonna take some really light dumbbells. Just wake up the shoulders. We're going pinkies all the way overhead, thumb to thumb. I'm gonna choose my five pound dumbbells. We're carving out a circle. You choose the weight that feels light for you. Shoulders down your back, tuck your tuck your tail, stop at your knees, here we go, and on. Overhead slow, thumb to thumb, back down, pinky to pinky. Soft in the elbows, control the weight. Really big range of motion. A little in front of your body. Just wake up those arms. A great chance to check in on your posture. How you standing? Spine tall, shoulders back. A lot of space for the ears, okay? So we're not doing anything more than once. The nice no repeat, so it'll be interesting. <laughs> One more. Keep your light weights. I'm gonna show you your next move. You're tipping forward, hinging at the hip, belly button in, look at the floor. Make the letter Y, thumbs up. Letter T, thumbs up. Letter A, palms to the floor, knuckles back, so YTAs. Go ahead and side it up. Bend your knees. Tip it forward. Belly button in. Three, two. Let's make the Y first. Here we go. Slow Y. Resist to the T. Thumbs up. To the A by the hips. Knuckles back. Do it again. Wake up your posture muscles. Y. Going really slow on purpose. T. Then here's your A. Halfway through this one. This one's tough. Feel free to do this just body weight. Great exercise for correcting your posture and getting your shoulder in a great place. And I chose my light, light ones for this guy. This is tough. Straight arm lifts out to the side. And do an A in. And rest. Grab something a little heavier. We're doing alternating overhead presses. So I'm going to grab my tens. Choose what feels like a warm up weight for you. Thumbs to your shoulders. I'm kickstanding one foot back so my spine doesn't arch. We're alternating. Whatever pace works for you. Ready and go. Press. Press. One arm at a time. Beautiful. We're in the last week of the 21 Day Transformation Challenge. If you're following along with me, let me know in the comments. How's the program going for you? It's pretty customizable. You can skip any workouts that don't work for you. You can start or stop, take breaks, any day of the week that works for you. Draw that belly button in, you're almost there. I'm gonna keep these weights. No, I lied. I'm gonna grab something heavier for the next one. It's low rows. Get even, one on each side, get even. Low rows, I'll demonstrate what it is. You're tipping forward just like we did for YTAs, but now you're just alternating your pull and that's why I'm gonna grab something heavier for the pulls. Make sure your spine is neutral though, okay? Knees bent, tip forward, spine long, palm space, one arm at a time, ready? Two, and go. Resist. Look at the floor, a few feet in front of you. That should get your neck in a pretty good position. If your back gets grumpy, take a break. Stand up and come back in. Here we go, keep going, almost halfway, and I'm feeling warm now. Are you? And that is essentially the end of the warm up moves after this. We're gonna work now. There's a lot of core control to be able to stay hinged forward with a neutral spine. So I want you to really focus on the abdominals here in these types of movements. Get even both sides and stand up rest. Okay, thanks move. Okay, now we're working, alternating biceps. So I'm gonna keep my 15s, we're just gonna alternate. One arm at a time. Shoulders down your back, soften up your knees. Let's try it. Heavy, heavy, okay? 40 seconds. And two, and on. Maybe you try your heaviest weight, get a few reps in and you need to drop, that's okay. Go a little bit lighter whenever you need it, whenever your form falls apart, or your muscles just don't have anything left. Because it's no repeat though, now that we're kind of warmed up, go ahead and grab something that will challenge you. Because you don't get another set 
or third set to really max it out. Wrists are straight. Try not to crack at the knuckles. Whole piece moves up. Three, two, and rest. I'm gonna lighten up my load. It's alternating lateral raises. So one arm at a time, out to the side. Choose a weight that you can do that for 40 seconds. I'm gonna grab my tens, and that's a good challenge. <laughs> Relax the neck here. Let's do the right side first, why not? Two, and one, here we go. Out to the side, back down. Back down, top of the shoulder is where you should feel this. How could you make this easier? Go ahead and put a bend in the elbow, like 90 degree, totally fine. Harder, that longer lever, longer limb. <laughs> okay, we're halfway. Check that posture. No swinging the weights. You got this. Up next, we have a tricep kickback. Oh, you gotta get even on both sides. Oh, I'm gonna do a bonus. Okay, tricep kickbacks, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep my 10, I'm gonna try. Okay, so let's go right arm first. Step into a little lunge stance. Left knee bends, that's your little support bench. It's a pull, kick it back for three. And then after the third one, we'll lower back down and reset the shoulder, ready? Here we go, pull it up, kick it back. Three, and two, and one, and reset. Lower the arm, pull up, three. Okay, I chose a heavy weight for me. And this is gonna be challenging. Pull, kick back. Two, and one, lower down. So I do have eights that I probably would have rather used for this, but they're not in here. <laughs> and the fives are a little easy for me. So I'm trying to bust out the tens. Good, and rest. Ooh, circle it if you need it. We're going the other side. Ideal if you can keep the same weight for both sides, unless you have like an injury, you're trying to rehab, okay? Bandage your right knee, right hand on your thigh, tip forward. You're doing the same thing. It's a row. Three of those guys, and then back down. Ready, and on, here we go. Pull it up, three, two, and one. Slow lower. Try to keep that spine in a really good place. Don't lock the elbow at the top. You go almost straight, but not quite all the way. Over halfway. Pull, three, two. I am gonna get my lighter weight for <laughs> the next one. <laughs> the next one, we're doing scaptions, anterior deltoid, the front of your shoulder. And release, I'm grabbing fives. Okay, something light, we're alternating though, that's the good news, okay? Hit the top corner, hit the top corner, thumbs up. Check on your posture, slide those shoulder blades down your back. Knees are soft. Make that V shape out in front. Here we go. Two and one. Oh, nice and controlled. No flinging. Top of the shoulder right there. Feel it. Beautiful. I'm going to keep the light one for the next exercise. Halfway. Working for some quality over quantity so that if you need to take a break, before the timer says take a break, you do you, okay? Especially if your form is starting to fall apart. Take that break. Five. Here's the hard part, get even. Both arms even, I'm gonna do a bonus, both of them. Yeah, okay, keep one, wait. Right arm first, we'll bend the left knee again. Set up your lunge, bench, tip forward. We're going to straight arm pull back. Little push in, and then lower and down. So there's like an inch of push in. Set up your lunge, right heel is lifted, tip to me, straight arm, pull it back, push it in. Undo that push and lower slow, you got it? Sweep, push, undo it. Ooh, let's go a little bit faster, but no swinging. Up, push, in, down. Tiny squeeze right there in your back. Do you feel that under your armpits? 
relax. Oh gosh. And this is why I kept my five. I know these are tough. Take a spot on the floor, stare at it. Try to keep the neck relaxed. And rest. Oh, switch it. We're going other side. Left arm first, or left arm second. Step into your lunge. Right knee bent. Tip forward. You know what the move is, okay? We're gonna sweep back, push it in, and then slow lower. Let's do it slow first a few times. Ready? Three, two, and one. Slow, sweep it. Tiny squeeze in. Back out, and lower. Keep it slow. A few more reps. Up, little squeeze. All right, now you can pick it up. Up, push, in, and down. Push and down. Notice the difference between your two sides. Oftentimes, dominant arm is stronger. Maybe you're completely symmetrical between both your arms. Great job, good, keep that up, whatever you're doing. Little squeeze. Three, two, rest. We're headed to the floor for this next move. So grab a weight that will be difficult to row from the ground here. Renegade rows. Put your knees under your hips for level one. We're in tabletop. Level two, knees are behind the hips. Modified plank. The next level, tuck those toes. Try not to rotate your hips, and you're in plank. Ready? Choose your version. Row and release. Renegade rows, okay? You can have knees on a towel if you don't have a mat. Squeeze your back. Work your core. It's only one time through this, okay? So do the best you can for this 40 second interval. Put your mind in the muscle. Woo! <laughs> she said to herself. Try not to twist. Get even on both sides. Woo! And a break. <laughs> okay, stay down. We're gonna go to one side. No, we're not. We're gonna kneel. Grab your light weight, step your right foot forward. Left knee down, left arm holds the weight. Tip forward. We're gonna start with a little high row. Rotate, press overhead twice on, a, on an angle, and then come back down. Ready, here we go. High row, rotate, push it up. Two, and one, lower, and do the whole thing. Row, rotate, two, one. Remember to rotate back down, and then lower. High row. Two. This is the part where maybe you want a towel under your knee. Or at least a mat or carpet, something soft under that back knee. Rotate. Undo. Put that shoulder in your back pocket. Hey, the shoulder blade. Pull it back. <laughs> rest. Okay, we're not gonna get that last rep in. Go ahead and rest and switch it out. So now your other leg comes forward. You can lean into it like it's a bench. You're doing the same movement. A row, a rotate, two overhead presses. Unrotate, release, okay? Set it up. Ideal, use the same weight for both sides, but if you have an injured shoulder, do it no weight first. Ready? Here we go. Pull up, rotate, two pushes on an angle. Unrotate, is that a word? Unrotate. <laughs> Push it overhead twice. Redo the whole thing so you just kind of come the same pathway that you came up to go back down. You're halfway. Control the weight. Weight's not in charge of your arm. You are in charge. Check on that posture. Are you slouching? Three, two, and... Rest, I'm not gonna finish the rep, that's okay. We ran out of time, next move, plank up downs. Option here, if you're in table, elbow, elbow, palm, palm, and then just alternate your arms. Next option, you're in modified plank. Same version, yeah, just alternating the arms. Last, most challenging, knees up, toes tucked, ready? And let's go, down, down, up, up, switch arms, down, down, up, up. So triceps, chest, and shoulders. Not to mention some core work here. You could do this against a wall if you really want to not be on the floor today. <laughs> but sometimes getting on the ground is really good for you. It changes the gravitational pull 
so you can work different muscles. Muscles that you need to work. Yes. And I always want you to preserve that ability to get down on the ground and come back up. So we gotta practice that. Be even on both sides, so I have to do one more. Be even and rest. Whew. Oh, thank goodness it's not push-ups. <laughs> Grab something light. We're gonna lay on one side here. Head in your hands, knees stacked, hips stacked. Take the top arm and rest your elbow on your hip. You're gonna open the door with a nice light weight. Ready? Here we go. Open, slow, slow back down. External rotation. Oh my gosh. You could do this without a weight. You're gonna get something from it still. This is where I need to work more. I don't do enough of this. So for example, if you did the standing up, you're working your biceps more. Versus right now, sideline. Totally different feeling in that arm. That's why getting down on the ground is helpful. Just changes the way gravity's pushing on you. Oh gosh. Come on, Tara, don't quit. We gotta do the other arm. Two. Woo. I don't recommend you muscle through those like I was again there. If your form is starting to fall apart, take a break, okay? Knees bent, hips stacked. Head in your hands, elbow on the, elbow on the hip. We're just doing the same exercise. Now this is my good arm, <laughs> so I won't cry so much. Ready? Here we go. Open, slow close. You're so close. The last three moves are supine. That means laying face up. Does not mean they're gonna be easy, <laughs> but we're gonna use gravity to our advantage to work your chest, your triceps, and your lats. So those are big muscles in your back. Hope you make, they make your waist look smaller, okay? So don't be worried about getting muscles in your upper body, ladies. <sighs> Muscle is dense. It's not gonna take up a lot of room. It's not gonna make you bulky. <sighs> Good. And rest. Okay, grab weights for a chest fly. I think I'm gonna grab my tens. We're laying on our back with the knees bent, feet underneath your knees, palms face each other. Belly button's tucked in so that you have some good core support here. You're opening up the book and then squeeze it close. Ready? And on. Here we go. Chest fly. Excellent. So if you have a weight that's a little too heavy for you to control over your head, put it down, grab something lighter, and play with your tempo instead. So you can make a lightweight feel very heavy if you go very slow. <laughs> Ooh, or some of you might be ready to add like some core control to lift up your feet, bring your knees to table. That's one way to make this more challenging, a little more full body. Do you. Hang in, hang in. Rest. Okay, I'm gonna show you your next move. It's a pullover. Squeeze your weights together. You're going up over the head with almost straight arms and then exhale. Pull it back over the shoulders. Hence, pull over, right? I'm gonna grab my timer so I can hear it better and see it. Okay, five seconds, get there. Squeeze your weights together. Two, and overhead, and then pull it. Try not to arch the back. Keep it fused to the mat. Now, once again, if you did this movement standing up, you'd be working totally different muscles. That's why I have you on your back. You should feel this under your armpits. You might even feel your pecs a little bit as they assist. Ooh. I need these. These are like your pull-up muscles, right? Use that breath. And we rest. Ooh. Okay, final move. We're gonna work the backs of the arms again. You could grab your lighter weights if you'd like to. I'm gonna try to do my tens again. So you're gonna bend the elbows and extend the elbows. School crushers, you could even do one dumbbell if you'd like. Just make sure you don't hit yourself in the head with it, ready? And we're on, bend the elbows. And then extend the elbows. Beautiful. Feel the back completely supported by the mat. You're gonna use the core to keep it in neutral. Push to the sky right there. Just kind of like you're punching holes in the ceiling. 
working the back of your arms. That lovely, lovely tricep right here. Finish what you started. You are so close. This is the last exercise. We'll do a nice little upper body stretch. Oh, two, and done. Safely bail those weights off to the side. Take your knees in, give them a little hug. Congratulations, you finished upper body day 16. Rock and roll yourself up to a seat. And then we're gonna turn and face the mat for this little stretch here. Come into tabletop, so that's palms under shoulders, knees under hips. Reach your right arm up, big twist. Thread the needle, slide your right arm under your left armpit. Look to the left, melt your head down, let your ear rest. Stay in your knees more. If your neck is tight, you can sit back in those knees. Push down in your left palm, come on up. Switch, other side, left arm to the sky. Big twist, thread the needle under your right armpit. Shoulder down, head down. Breathe. You can make adjustments too, so if you need to sink more back, go ahead. Go ahead, push through your right hand, come on up. Tuck your toes, push your knees up, lift up your heart, sorry, lift up your knees, lift up your tail, and push your armpits to the floor. Walk your hands, walk your feet to your hands, or your hands to your feet, either way, we're coming up. Ragdoll to the top. Unwind your spine. Ooh. Excellent job. Shrug it out when you get there. So big shoulder rolls. Excellent, separate your feet. Right arm up, pat on the back. Give it a push or a pull. Or if you'd like, try internal rotation with the left arm and see if you can bring those fingers towards each other behind your back. It's okay if they don't touch, you can use your shirt. Keep your head in line with your spine. This is a tough one. Good, slow release. Give them a nice circle. Left arm overhead. Start with just version one. Progress if you can up to top. Or maybe right thumb down. Start to wriggle those fingers to each other. Oh, I have a side where they can touch. This one they're getting. I passed the back scratch test <laughs> on one side. Excellent, slow release. Oh, give them another shrug. Beautiful, reach your fingertips behind your glutes, interlace, drop those knuckles, expand your chest, lift up your chin, breathe. Let's reverse it, hook your palms in front, round your back, tuck your chin like you're gonna dive into a pool, cat stretch, unwind. Come back up to stand tall, take a big victory breath here. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you guys on day 17.